It's a sad day today. Got the cruiser in the shop because uh, driving it, was it Saturday or Sunday? I think it was Saturday driving it and the brake pedal felt really soft, felt really weird. And if you can see down there, the brake fluid all over, the wheel cylinder went bad on this right rear. And as you can see, it's eating up the powder coat on my wheel. It's okay, the wheels aren't that much. They're only like four or 500 bucks each, so I'll have to get a new one. But let's get her apart and see what it looks like inside there. See what she looks like. Dag nabbit. Okay, so it's a little bit better view of it. You see how it just bubbles up. Brake fluid is bad, bad, bad. Just peeling off. That's bad. Pay no attention to the three sand cars that are in here. No big deal. But let's get the uh, let's get the drum off. It looks like Turdzilla. Okay, get the drum off. That's what it looked like inside there. So you can see it's leaking right there really bad. And these things, if you just take and pop the little rubber boot. Ah. Pop the little rubber boot off. Ah, ah. Splatted oil everywhere, but yeah, you can kind of tell it's like a little boot. Anyway, I'll do that with when I have two hands. So yeah, so I'm gonna get some new shoes too because those are shining a little bit of wear, but it's not just wear, they're just soaked, saturated. Look how shiny they are. <laughs> Correct and crap. So yeah. So two new wheel cylinders. Some brake shoes. I think the drums are okay. Let's clean them up. And some brake fluid. Should be good to go. Let's go order some parts. All right, as you can see, the brake fluid, uh, it doesn't like the uh, paint on the backing plate either. Um, so yeah, got it off. Got this bucket here with some solvent in it. These are the old shoes. Got to clean all those parts. There's the slave cylinder. If you don't know how these things actually work, the brake line goes in that hole right there. When you push on the brakes, the fluid goes in the middle there. There's a rubber piston on either side. You push out pushes on these things here, push those out, which engages on the back tops of the shoes there, and it pushes the shoes out, which makes the material on the shoes hit the drum and slows you down. And that's how it works. And they just go bad after a while, and this one is bad. So um, these little pivots here, I like to put a little bit of a uh, little bit of like lube on them, because that's what the, uh, the shoes actually kind of move on those things so shiny because it's been mud, metal to metal so use a little bit of white grease will work pretty good on those things like that but right now i've got the uh got the new slave cylinder for both sides and uh i'm waiting on the shoes the shoes won't be here for another hour or two so i'll just get to cleaning and take the other side apart it's always good to uh, just do one, take one side apart at a time, but these are like super basic um, brakes here. So I'll probably take them both apart so I can have them, new wheel cylinders in and have them good to go for uh, when I get the uh, new shoes because those are so impregnated, I don't want to reuse them. Anyway, just like that. All right, this is side two. So you can see that was starting to leak as well. But this is kind of how they're supposed to look when they're not all nasty. So, see the cracking and stuff on the brake shoes, how cracked the stuff are. Anyway, get side two all apart and cleaned up. New wheel cylinders are on both sides. I bled it as well. Um, I bled it by basically putting a clamp on here and also on the other side and then blood them so that way I'll get all the air out of them. So I'm still just waiting for shoes. Probably got another hour to wait for shoes and I can get this thing back together. 
So I'm brake cleaning my wheel to see how bad the damage is. And it's, it's not the best of the best, but I mean, it stopped in there, I guess. I just don't think, didn't think it was gonna be that bad. But anyway, you know, see it's a KMC wheel. And I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Blah, 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 and I'm looking. What? What? Made in China? Seriously? Seriously made in China? You gotta be kidding me. All right, I didn't film putting it back together because um, it took like four hours for the parts to deliver these brakes. Anyway, new shoes, new uh, wheel cylinder. So long, they're all back together. I'm driving a little bit. You can see the wear on them where they've been hitting. So she's all done, good to go. Stopping like a dream.